Good morning everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we woke up in Hoi An in central Vietnam. We're going to be exploring this beautiful place and bringing you guys along with us. So we arrived quite late last night and we're really tired and we come across Lum. He runs this cute little coffee shop and we had the best coffee ever so today we're going to get another one. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Do you want this one sir? Condensed Wait, milk coffee? Yeah, condensed uh, milk coffee. Yeah, please. Yeah. Two? With Two. ice? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah, amazing. Thank yeah. you. Perfect, yeah. thank you. So this place is literally right next to where we're staying which is just down that road. It's called Mango Garden Homestay and it's so cute and it's literally like eight pounds a night which is crazy come on come on. come on yeah thank you cheers oh the coffee in vietnam is absolutely insane mm. so after that amazing coffee we are now going to explore the old town here in hanoi along the way i've noticed a lot of shops selling some tailor-made items and I really need a new pair of shoes. I'm gonna check out a few shops and see if I can get myself some nice new sandals. I love these, this is exactly what I've been looking for. I try? Yeah. The one bigger? Yeah, yeah. a little bit. Uh, maybe like this one. Uh, yeah, with a little bit at the back. And how about the one narrow okay and you want? I think, no, I think that's okay. Because it's stretch a little, yeah? It's yeah. leather. Yeah, yeah. Let's try both. But I think it needs to be a little bit longer. A little bit longer? You need a little bit longer? Yeah, a bit longer. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay? Yeah. Perfect. So 400 and she's going to tailor make me a new pair of shoes. I've been looking for these shoes for so long. And there's so many around, but they're already made. So no, they're no. not... <laughs> They're not made for your foot and they're really narrow a lot of them. So yeah, I've been looking for so long, finally found a pair and what's your name? My name is Hong. Hong. Hong is gonna make me a pair and she's so sweet. Hong. You are set on the Google map. Oh I'm good, thank you. Our new Vietnamese mum. Vietnamese mum. <laughs> oh so cute. Oh so I'm gonna pick the shoes up tomorrow at five o'clock. So you literally get a handmade pair of shoes exactly fitted to your size in 24 hours which is mad actually yeah 24 hours absolutely mad the price is 400 dong which is so good oh no we're trapped by motorbikes <laughs> oh guys it's so hard to talk and walk here yeah. because everywhere's a, a hazard Literally. anyway the price was 400 dong which is crazy cheap for a handmade pair of shoes that are real leather that actually fit your foot exactly so i'm really happy about that and she was so sweet she was sweet i was just walking along and we saw the store and yeah i had to get her youtube oh, the youtube is okay very nice couple yummy i read no we're just friends no, we're not okay. cheeky. I think I'd probably go for brown if I'm honest. That may be. Yeah, I think I prefer brown. They're nice. They actually fit my wide feet. Yeah, but they make them to your width. Wow. Everything. I will inquire the price. Why you don't want black? Look the mirror. Really nice. Yeah, look. See? No, no. You it's because I'm I'm too white. Oh. If, I, if I had a nice tan, okay. then black would be okay. Oh, so much choice. Yeah, I know. This so is why when I go to the supermarket, it takes me yeah. two hours to buy yeah. two things. Too much choice. This colour. So we've settled on a colour brown, <laughs> but we haven't settled on a price. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. See you tomorrow. So as you can see, the shops here are honestly unbelievable. I think probably. Not the main attraction, but certainly something that makes this place definitely worth a visit. We haven't yeah. even got to the old town yet, and we've already bought two things, <laughs> but that's enough now. But we yes, both no really wanted those shoes. Yeah, we've so. been saying it for a while now, and they're so cheap. <laughs> and we've been travelling for a year, and everything we have is so ruined yeah. that we needed a couple of new bits. And Vietnam's a perfect place. So really guys, is. let's go to the old town. <laughs> no more shopping. So we have taken refuge because the heavens have opened up and we didn't bring out any ponchos. We brought out one umbrella, thankfully, but I think I'm gonna have to use it, <laughs> not real. <laughs> Hello. 
is actually impossible to walk here because the pavements are covered with stalls and fruit. So you walk in the road, but it's just so many bikes. It's so hazardous. It is absolutely ramo. It's so hard to walk because everyone's got umbrellas up and they just keep bashing me on the head. So we really wanted to show you the historical sites here in Hoi An, Old Town, but it's flooded. The rains have been so bad the last few days, so we can't walk around because it is absolutely full of water. So we're gonna have to come back another time, hopefully towards the end of our stay and show you properly. Hopefully the rain will have stopped by then and we can actually show you some of the beautiful places here in the Old Town. So if you guys are planning to come to Hoi An, try not to come in November because it seems to be just the start of rainy season. Oh my God, Sam, look. Okay, yeah, we're approaching a river right now, which is not meant to be there. We're gonna have to adapt this vlog a little bit because we can't walk around because it is absolutely flooded beyond belief. So we're gonna go and try and find some food that is famous to this area and uh, see how it tastes. <laughs> Oh, so it looks like we're in luck because the dish we were looking for is chow lao. I'm probably saying that completely wrong. And the sign above me, first turning we take, says chow lao. So we're going to try it and we'll tell you guys all about it and how it tastes. Chow Lao is a signature dish in Hoi An. It's made from pork, noodles, greens, and rice paper croutons. So we're really excited to try it. But what makes it specifically unique is that the water used in the noodle dish comes from an ancient well. So I'm very excited to try it. So when we sat down, we noticed that this place yeah, actually does yeah. a lot of trips. You know, the chicken, chicken, right? This one? Yeah, <laughs> come, come. Come, right. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Um, lost my trail of thought. What was I saying? <laughs> okay, so when we sat down, we realised this restaurant actually has loads of the traditional dishes of Hoi An. Um, so Sam has gone for the Komga and I went for the Chow Lao, and we're definitely saying wrong. So let's see how they are. They well, I've already tried this, really good. Is it good? Yeah. The woman actually come over and explained to us how to use all the condiments that go with the dishes, otherwise we probably would have had, <laughs> had no idea. How is it? It's so good. It is really spicy. What's it taste like? It tastes like almost like um, chicken rice in Singapore, but with a lot more flavour. Okay, so I'm going to try the chow lao. So here it looks like thin slices of pork oh, with thick rice noodles, some salad, and they said that I should put this spicy sauce on top. So yeah, let's give it a go. And I'm not sure what this is. Maybe pork? pork skin oh i'm not a big meat eater so hopefully i'll like this but when in hey uh, when in huyang we should try the traditional food so let's see this is when i really need to be able to use chopsticks mm. Mm. okay i've never tasted noodles like that before they're kind of like a spaghetti texture more than a noodle really good it tastes kind of like the noodles are beefy. That's what it tastes like, even though it's not beef. It's so good. Right, let me try the pork. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that is so good, Sam. Let me try. Okay. My mouth is on fire already. Yeah, because mm. you put the whole I'll thing in. I put the in hot there. sauce in. Okay. Hurry up. Suck it in. <laughs> mm. How good is it? Mm. That is so good. Every bite as you eat it tastes different because there's all these different herbs on top. So you've got mint, some salad, some other herbs, like maybe lemongrass. So every time you eat a different piece of the meal, the flavor changes and it's crazy. It's so good. I don't even like pork, but wow. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. What's the name? 
chow lao. Highly recommend chow lao. Oh, that food was absolutely delicious. I was not expecting it to be that good. So guys, if you're in Hoi An, make sure you come to chow lao. The whole meal come to 105, which is a crazy price. We had two drinks and two delicious meals. Highly recommend. I, I can't believe it. Every time I eat. <gasps> Sign of a good meal, that. <laughs> So if you guys come here on holiday, bring an extra suitcase because there is so many shops and the prices are so good and the fashion is amazing beeping. as well. So much for linen. Yeah, there's a lot of beeping going on right now. My hair has kind of gone like this in the wind, but it is honestly like a shopper's paradise here. It is a bit of a struggle to walk around here because you've got the street vendors on the pavement and then you've got the bikes on the road and it's just so hard to navigate, especially vlogging at the same time. So this local just crashed his bike and as he's trying to get up, this tourist just went past and slapped him on the back of the head. Why do people come to different countries like in Asia and act like an absolute... This guy is everything wrong with content creators. He's literally stopping traffic so he can get a video of himself on the tripod. Okay, so the sun has set really fast and we're going to head back. Unfortunately, we couldn't see the night market because it's on the left side and it's completely flooded, but hopefully we can come back another day and show you guys the night market because we really want to check it out ourselves. But we're going to go back now, chill, ready for a full day of adventures tomorrow. So today is a brand new day, but unfortunately the whole... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> unfortunately, the whole day of adventures that we have planned for today have been slightly changed due to the weather. Yeah, there so... was heavy rain last night. Welcome to Vietnam. Yeah. <laughs> Today we were supposed to go out this morning really early and do a boat tour mm. but it got written off from the weather so now we're going to do our second activity that we planned and that is a bike tour with a company that's going to show us some of the countryside and some more area around Hoi An but hopefully we won't die because it's extremely rainy and windy. <laughs> It is really hard to ride here because they drive on the opposite side of the road to us in England and we've been used to travelling in Indonesia which is the same side as us so yeah it's going to be quite hard to get used to <laughs> Okay we made it to the meeting point but this one almost died about 10 times Oh my god everyone drives like a freaking lunatic <laughs> and the bike's so old it's almost falling apart it literally and is the up. brakes don't work But it looks good Oh, at least the bell works. So this is Tommy, he's going to be yeah. taking us around for the day. And yeah. So you're a college student? Yeah, we, I got it, I think last year. Yeah. yeah? Tourism management. Nice. Yes. So you do these tours to practice English? Yes, correct. Yeah. Yes. Nice, yeah. cool. Well, we're excited. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. Ciao. just had a really interesting workshop. We learned how to make these mats. So they use them in the summer when they go to sleep because the beds are too hot. So the lady here, she makes about five a week and sells them for about, was it 500? 400 dong. Uh, but she has to do other jobs because obviously they last a long time and not everyone needs to keep replacing them. So she has like five different jobs. Okay, in the wall. Tight, tight, four times. There you go. You push it through. Keep it next to the balls. All the way down and then tap it. Hey! <laughs> okay, we're leaving now. Next stop is another local house where we're going to learn to make some local noodles. 
So that'll be fine. It is absolutely freezing. So, so. Surrounded by flooding right now. We told you it was raining, we weren't joking. <laughs> so Rhea's got a fat tyre. And, and we've only really just started the tour, so hopefully we can fix it. Always Rhea. What have you done? I'm confused. I don't know. I think he was telling me how much it was, but he was pointing at the sky and the floor and then doing this. I don't know. Well, my rapid thing has a no. Yeah, perfect. Thank oh, you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so that was only 50,000 dong, which is like less than two pounds. Yeah. And it was Rhea's fault, so. It weren't my fault. I told you when we left the swing, it was dead. <laughs> All right, let's do it. So now we're going to learn to make some noodles with this lovely cute family. We're in a traditional countryside house. Apparently here they have a lot of land, so all the house is on one floor. Um, but in the cities they build up because the land's more expensive. We have a two liter of water, one liter of rice. And uh, we will soak rice under the water for three hours, but three times. The first time they add new water into the rice, after soaking one hour, they pour water out. The second time, they add new water into the rice after soaking one hour, we pour water out again. Wow. Look like they're washing rice. Wow. And the third time is the last time they add water into the rice after soaking one hour, they keep it. And they pour water and rice into the machine. And they turn it on so the machine will grind rice automatically become rice, rice milk. So we have a rice milk. Oh. Yeah. But now we have uh, electricity. Before 1992, there were no electricity. So what did they do? I will show you. Before 1992, she will add rice and milk, uh, water into grinder. And she used hand <coughs> oh, to grind. In one hour. One hour. No um, stop. Oh. And then the rice water will become milk. But in Vietnam, we like productivity. So, uh, we, that's why we make it look like men and women, you know? We call it penis and vagina. <laughs> <laughs> they're using the shell of the rice to ignite the fire, and then they use the ash from that to fertilize the banana tree. Crazy. Just using nature for everything. In the bed. <laughs> One spoon, a separate yell, like a pancake. And a cover for and she wait for 30 seconds. Second layer. No, no, I'm, I'm your law. Oh, yeah, left hand. Harder than it looks. Gotta start in a funny looking balloon. Okay, 30 seconds. Yeah, counting down. You cheated. How did I cheat? Thinking I just used my head. I just used my head. Oh, that's a change, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, look at that. Mini one. Well, you know, I'm not greedy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mini. All right, on. I don't want to get too excited, but I think mine could be the best one so far. <laughs> but I double layer it up. It moves so fast. You know I'm heavy handed. You are. <laughs> what shape are you going for? Strawberry. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Nicely done. Perfectionist over here. my Hey! Hey! To the left. Ah, oh, see, this is what I was doing wrong. Flip! Flip! Yeah! <laughs> right. Now we're moving Mine. to the next step. She will work. Rhea's. Yeah. Yeah. So she's picked my one. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> Not your one, Rhea. Bam. She will put uh, peanut oil. 
uh, after cooking, uh, it's not sticky, but after five, ten minutes, it will be sticky again. Okay. So we have to use oil. Yeah. So it's not sticky. Okay. Mm. So easy to cut. Yeah. And uh, they grow peanuts here yeah. to make oil. They grow peanuts here. Yes. Yeah. Hey. Noodles. 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 <laughs> Thank you. This is uh, Vietnamese name Ban Dap. And English name Samashi rice cake. <laughs> when they make the cake, they smash <laughs> and they fall. Is it good? And in the past, they didn't use the, bro the broken one. Mm -hmm. They waste away. Mm -hmm. And that's for poor people. Off to the next stop. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. And apparently we have to walk through flood that is up to our knees for 15 minutes. So that's going to be an experience. Bye. Bye 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 bye. Bye. Thank you. Oh, that couple was so cute. So the man was 80 and she was 78. You could not tell. Hello. Oh my god. Welcome to Vietnam. Hello. Uh, we are in the Kimbong Carpentry Village. So in the past, in the 17th century, uh, everyone here they were carpenter. Nowadays we're using new material. Material we don't we don't use wood to build house anymore. That's why a lot of carpenter they give up the job and they went, uh, and they go to big city like Ho Chi Minh, Hanoi to work in all the industry. So Henry, he the last carpenter. He the last last man. He decided to stay here to maintain the carpentry, mm. and and then he he had the uh, two hundred students. But uh, 1997, uh, UNESCO organization they support him four thousand US dollar. So he used four thousand US dollar to open more school to teach for the young man to become the carpenter. Yeah. So now we have uh, all the, over over four hundred the carpenters. Thanks so to uh, nice. Mr. Henry, and he the master. Uh, of the Kimbom Carpentry Village. Wow. Yes. So usually outside of the rainy season we would do a workshop and learn how they carve all this wood but the whole area up there is completely flooded so this day has been lovely and sometimes we always expect you know the best of everything but it's important to see how the locals live and usually all the flooded areas would be rice fields when you come outside the monsoon season so riding around would be so beautiful but we've still had the best day. Now we're going to drive home and head back to the old town and pray that it's not as flooded as it was yesterday so we can find some nice dinner and a beer. Oh, so we made it back to the town in yes, one piece. <laughs> so we're going to say goodbye to Tommy. You've been absolutely great. Thank um, you. Thank <laughs> you. So guys, we're going to put all the details of this tour down below. Make sure you check it out when you come to Hoi An. And yeah, it was amazing. And if you come outside of the monsoon season, all of the wetness <laughs> that you saw today would actually be rice fields. So imagine how beautiful that is. Maybe we'll have to come back. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, so we're back and we're showered. We're gonna now go back into town and grab the sandals that have been custom made for us and then we're gonna grab some dinner, maybe a little bit of wine as well. Hello. Thank you. Oh. They look incredible. Look at that, made exactly to fit. Yeah. Oh, they're lovely. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank Bye. you. Bye. <laughs> Oh, so my shoe's an absolute success now. We're on to get Sam's. Hello. Hello. Okay, so mine are not ready yet. So we're gonna come back in about an hour. So we're gonna go and grab some food. And yeah, I'm gonna make my way back and, and collect them. So we're gonna grab some dinner at this cute little place, chill out and have a drink, and then maybe explore some more of the town. So we came to this place two nights ago and we literally fell in love. So the owner here, the guy, he paints 
all of these beautiful paintings around us. We'll and here he is. Here he is. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Good afternoon. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this lovely man paints everything here. Yeah, um, they're so beautiful. Can you buy them? Yeah. yeah. We'll sell, yeah. Oh, okay. So if you like anything, you can buy it. And they're so talented. Like, I would love this in my house. <laughs> Thank you. <I laughs> and the food you. is insane. We had to come back. This vegetarian curry is to die for. Like, look at this. Oh. You've got tofu, you've got carrots, you've got chives, you've got, I don't even know what else, but it's honestly insane and squishy. So I'm gonna tuck in right now. <laughs> it's so good, I had to. <laughs> So we're just sitting there, having a bottle of wine, enjoying ourselves, and I completely forgot I got to go and pick up my sandals. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh. I made it. Yeah, you here, but. Oh, they look good. Hey. Right, try them on. Try them on. See what they like. Your hood are really not again. Yeah. You're talking with someone else. Wow. Look at that quality. So guys, you have to visit this place if you're in Hoi An. She makes the best shoes, sandals, loafers. We've got a huge collection here. And she is lovely as well. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Bye bye. Oh, I made it back guys for this amazing wine. Who knew Vietnam did such good wine? I didn't. And good food. Yeah. So this place is so cute. We've had such a lovely evening. We've stayed here way longer than we should because we were gonna have a little wander, but it's now 10 o'clock and we have to work tomorrow. So if you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe and comment down below and we'll see you in the next one. She's so lucky.